long have you got? Two minutes? Let's go! The history of Brazil, the fifth largest country in the world, and only Portuguese-speaking country in Latin America, begins in the year 1500 with its discovery by Pedro Alvarez Cabral. Portugal claimed Brazil for itself by initiating settlement at São Vicente, near present-day megalopolis Sao Paulo in 1532. Like the Spanish elsewhere in South America, the Portuguese conquistadors, known as Bandeirantes, dominated the primitive natives and looked to extract what they could from the countryside. Native slave labor dwindled under harsh treatment, and importation from Africa began a huge enterprise, with slaves used for sugar, coffee, and rubber production and mining. Unlike the United States, Brazil was unable to shake free of its mercantile servitude to the mother continent. The Portuguese government's Pombaline reforms of 1750 to 77 strengthened its hold on Brazil at the very moment Britain was losing its hold on America in the American Revolution. Independence did eventually come for Brazil, but without revolution. After the Portuguese monarchy had established itself in Brazil fleeing from Napoleon, the ruling family became ensconced there, preferring it to Europe. In 1822, Prince Regent Dom Pedro issued the cry of Ipiranga, independence or death, breaking away from Portugal. Brazil's approximation of a revolution came in 1888 with the abolition of slavery by the imperial regent Princess Isabel, which triggered the ouster of the monarchy by an alliance of landed aristocracy, merchants, and the military. Without any particular ideological commitment of their own, Brazil's leaders drifted in the cultural currents of the early 20th century, especially nationalism. During World War II, the pragmatic leader, Getulio Vargas, opted to support freedom abroad while maintaining oppression at home with his so-called Estado Novo, or New State, from 1937 to 45. The inability of the political class to embrace freedom as the solution to Brazil's economic and social inequality contributed to continual political instability, which led Brazil's military to impose a stabilizing dictatorship from 1964 to 85, notoriously supported by the United States, which sought to prevent the spread of communism to Latin America. Having recovered a democratic form of government, Brazil continues to drift on cultural currents defined elsewhere, following a European mixed economy model. As such, Brazil continues to languish just shy of its potential. Brazil is the land of the future, and, its own people say, it always will be.